I was out at a store and clearly somebody hit and ran my truck. Unfortunately, it's the fourth time it's happened so far just this year. One lady actually managed to hit my truck twice while trying to park and then took off before I could go and talk to her. So I'm gonna show you how I'm gonna take care of this. Now to get started, we will wanna prep the surface and the very first thing we wanna do is some alcohol prep and our friends at Renegade Products have been kind enough to send us this alcohol prep spray. So we'll give that a shot and see how it goes. And this is kind of the surface that we're gonna hit. Actually, I see a little schmutz up there, so we'll get that too. So basically, all this area that I've been wiping down, this is where we're gonna be hitting it with our polisher. Interestingly, the stuff smells pretty good. Now you might have noticed that this trim is gone. That wasn't from the accident, I removed it. A lot of times it's easier to tape up, but in this case, it was very little work to remove. So what's been done so far is a wash, a decontamination with iron remover, and now the alcohol. What we're gonna do next is go over it with a clay bar and detail spray. My clay bar of choice is the Adams clay bar, and I'm gonna be using my typical Adams detail spray for lubrication. We don't need a lot of clay bar to get started, I'm just gonna use a small piece. I like to spray a little in my hand just to let me ball the clay bar up easier. Some people like clay mitts, that's been a very popular thing these days. All right, so to get started with the clay bar, we're just gonna move around in small circles and when the paint feels clear of debris and the clay bar is sliding nicely, that's how we know that area is done. And the goal here is to make sure there's as little contamination as possible once we are using our polisher. You definitely wanna throw this clay bar out when you're done with it, don't keep reusing it. And you can already tell how much smoother and nicer the surface is just after the clay bar. And it actually cleaned up a little bit of the marring because some of the lines were uh, transfer from whatever material the other vehicle had that hit me. Now we're gonna flip our towel and we're gonna use some more of that Renegade alcohol prep spray. And you really wanna remember everywhere that you are gonna polish because we're going to reseal. To get us started, we'll be using my Flex Polisher along with a Lake Country heavy cutting pad. This is the hybrid pad, six and a half inch. These are some of my favorite. Our friends at Exaforma were very kind in providing a three-step polishing system for me to test out, and we will be using it for this project. I like to give a little spritz of detailing spray. What I typically like to do now is kind of spread it around a little bit to some of the spots that we know we're gonna hit. So let's wipe that up. And wow, in just one step, guys, we're already pretty much golden. So what can we see? Well, we lost up to primer in here and a little bit over here. So we'll be touching those spots up. Nothing we can do there. Uh, polishing doesn't regrow paint. And down here, we're totally done. There's nothing left at all. Now we're ready to use the regular cutting pad and the precision polish number two, which is gonna be kind of the medium polish. All right, let's wipe up. That's looking pretty good. Finally, we're gonna be switching over to the polishing pad. So we'll give it a spritz, shake up our bottle, put a little piece of tape over here. I just don't wanna keep polishing over where the primer is. I don't want to chip the paint around it. And now I'm gonna spray on some of this alcohol to prep. And we're gonna go ahead and wipe all of this up. I just noticed there's actually a tiny little crease. That's really annoying. I wish people were more careful. What we're gonna do now is use this GM paint pen. And what I like to do now is give it a little time and then I'll add a few more layers. Paint has largely leveled. It's looking a lot better than what we had before. So what I'm gonna do now is add one more layer and then we're just gonna sand it slightly. It's a little bit of a fool's errand 
to try to get touch up paint perfect. We're starting to look good here. The two layers of paint have kind of really filled in that gap between the paint and the primer. It's been a whole hour and it is much harder to see where the damaged area is. And we're just gonna use a tiny bit of 2000 grit sandpaper that I folded over a bunch of times to kind of make a hard flat surface. And we're just gonna take some of this down right here. And for this, I'm gonna use detail spray, but you can use water. And essentially what we wanna do is just work on the small little area here, very carefully. And we really wanna feel it. And as it starts to smooth down, that's good. That's feeling pretty flat. The number two polish and the medium cutting pad should do the job. That polishing got rid of all our sanding marks. So now we're gonna create the clear coat layer, which we will also flatten down a little bit with sanding. So there we go, we got a little bit of that clear coat action. Give it about five minutes, put on another coat. That is really starting to blend together. Let's add a little more clear coat. It's been an hour and we're gonna sand down the clear. And the goal now is really just to flatten this out to make it stand out as little as possible with the layers around it. And you see some of that like kind of milky residue. It's just some of the clear coat. And I would say if you're gonna try to do this yourself, I would say be in a position where you would repaint the part if it went wrong. And mainly I say that not because this is so hard, but because if it went wrong, I wouldn't want you to feel like you did yourself a disservice. And now we're gonna polish that matte spot off. I think that looks beautiful. We should be able to switch to the finishing polish. Everything's back in place. And at this point, this is as good as it gets, at least at my skill level. The main reason I made the video is to show you guys what can be done by a detailer, by yourself as a DIY. I don't expect everybody's got these tools at home, but certainly if you visit a detailer, they will be able to help you achieve this result. And a lot of detailers could really use your business. And as usual, guys, there are gonna be Amazon affiliate links down below in the description. Those provide me a very small commission if you buy anything at all on Amazon after clicking through the links. And those links are to the products that we looked at today. And of course, remember to like and subscribe the video if you've enjoyed it, if you learned something. And I love talking to all of you down below in the comments. And of course, a big thank you to Exoforma and Renegade. I'm using their products today. And in fact, they both shipped me several different products to work with. And you will be seeing more from both these companies in the future. <laughs>